Hi, this is John Liu with H&M Realty Group. Today I wanted to talk about smart devices in your home. It's crazy to think about how far technology has come and how much you can control in your home. But these advances and conveniences don't come without some risk. I hate to sound cynical, but there's always going to be bad guys out there who are taking technology and trying to use it to their advantage by exploiting it. The potential dangers go far beyond someone just messing with your lights or adjusting your thermostat. Why is it so hot? Someone fiddled with the thermostat. What? Who would do that? Imagine if someone could look at your thermostat schedule and see when you're normally out of the house. Or what if someone could control your smart locks and smart garage and gain access to your home? What if someone could look into your home through your security cameras, uh, your webcam, or other devices that have cameras in your home? Get out of here, you nosy little pervert, or I'm gonna slap you silly! By essentially throwing your home online, you're potentially giving access to your home to these bad guys. Here's three tips for how to secure your smart home. In the battle for privacy, protecting your information is so important. You should make sure that you're not giving away any information unnecessarily. Just look at all the information I could get by looking at available networks from my computer. There's device information and even owner names. This information could be used against you. There are hardware specific vulnerabilities that bad guys will try to exploit. By leaving the default network name, you may be giving away manufacturer and model number information, which makes it easier for the bad guys to figure out what kind of device they're working with. You should also avoid using your name. There's so much information out there that it's easy to just pull up public records and then attach a name to a specific residence. You should immediately change your network name and change it to something that's anonymous. It should go without saying that you should password protect your network so that no one can just hop on. But a lot of people forget that you should also password protect your router. Now all routers come with a default password, but they're not meant to be protective. They're actually designed to be easy so that you could figure it out, access it, and then change it yourself. Most manufacturers use the exact same password for each of their routers. Just Google your router and there's a good chance that you'll be able to find the password online. Remember when you had to go to a coffee shop or a bookstore in order to get Wi-Fi? Nowadays, it seems like there's Wi-Fi just about everywhere. But public networks, by their very nature, are open to anyone, including the bad guys. This makes them vulnerable, and that's why you should avoid connecting to your home smart devices from a public network. There's one way to combat this by using a VPN or virtual private network. A VPN will encrypt the data that's being sent through the public network. So unless you're using a VPN or other type of preventative measures, you shouldn't be accessing your smart home devices from a public network. So there you have it. Use these tips to protect yourself, your family, and your home from the bad guys. Once again, this is John Liu. Thanks for watching and stay safe. Say thanks for watching. Happy New Year. <laughs>